वेलकम गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट सिंटेक्स ट्री व्हिच इज़ अ टॉपिक इन कंपाइलर डिज़ाइन एज यू माइट नो सो व्हाट इज़ द पर्पस ऑफ दिस एब्स्ट्रैक्ट सिंटेक्स ट्री इज इट बेसिकली ट्रांसलेट्स द सिंटेक्स इनटू सिमेंटिक्स राइट so whatever syntactical knowledge we have about a no, uh, about a language that needs to be translated into some meaning for the compiler to understand for a compiler to understand any piece of code there has to be a logical meaning or you can say a logical equation to fit that into so we are going uh, and for representing that logic we use abstract syntax tree so in this we have been given this particular piece of code let me zoom in a bit yeah so we are given the function of quick sort this is the function of quick sort and we need to write the abstract syntax tree for this particular code segment which begins here fragment begins here and it ends here so all this we need to write and uh, we are calling the quick sort function here and again at 1 plus 1 to n means at two particular indices or ranges so if we look into what we need to draw is the first thing is the these uh, statements i is equal to m minus 1 j is equal to n v is equal to a of n so all these we can denote using the assignment operator and that will have basically two subtrees the left and the right the right subtree will have i which is the variable we need to assign and the other we have m minus 1 similarly j equal n and v equal a of n so these will be uh, three separate subtrees of the abstract syntax tree and after that we have the entire while loop so let's understand how is it working in the while loop we will or even in any block which has a lot of uh, other nodes associated we will go in this particular anti clockwise fashion right so first while numerical expression 1 and it has a uh, basically the block is residing between these two curly braces right so while one this is a numerical expression block it has one in it and then we have the curly braces so inside the curly braces we have another block so if we go back to the code we will see while one and then we have this piece of code right so in this we have i is equal to i plus 1 and rest of it so for do i is equal to i plus 1 we will have a particular uh, path to the do while block and inside the do while block we will have the do and then we will have i is equal to i plus 1 and then a semicolon similarly while and then the assignment operator which we are checking there which is this uh this particular statement a of j is greater than v that we will write after we state the while right so after this we will use the opening bracket then we will write the condition that is a of i is less than v then we will close the bracket and then semicolon so after this do while loop if we go back to the code we see that there is another do while loop here so so for that again we will have to write this particular uh, subtree which will have the do here and once the do is completed then we will have the while here it's just the same only the uh, code processes are different as per the quick sort algorithm so after this do while executes 
that is once the control comes here and then goes back we will have this here again so uh, if we see what is written next so after both the two whiles we have if i is greater than equal to j break let me erase this okay so if i is greater than equal to j then we need to break so if we go below so we can see that after the do second do while we have this uh, basically branch and then we have the if statement and then if open curly braces i is greater than equal to j then we have this block right so this block is executed if the if statement is true so then we have block break i what does this mean so if we go back to the code we see that if i is greater than equal to j then we break break from this particular uh, loop and exit uh, and exit and if it is not so then what we will do is we will simply uh, use the other statements that are there in this do while loop so as you can see that inside this while loop this while loop we are here and if we are not thrown by this branch that is if break doesn't execute doesn't execute then we need to go back and execute all this right so we will see x is equal to a of i then j sorry semicolon then a of i is equal to a of j semicolon then again a of j is equal to um, x right so and this is also x if uh, it's not clearly visible so then semicolon again and once it executes then we will go back to the while loop and then finally the closing bracket will occur and we will know that the execution has finished so this is how we create the abstract syntax tree of a particular piece of code if you have any questions regarding this then uh, please write it in the comment section below and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and till then happy solving